Palea got a new update and added probably one of the most relaxing minigames ever, Hot Pot. The Lunar New Year Maji Market has a bunch of new features that we didn't get the last time the Maji Market came to town. One of these new features is Hot Pot. There's a bunch of these pots hanging around the market. All you have to do is walk up to one that has a free spot available and start playing. There can be up to four players at one table, but don't worry, there's a ton of tables. There's enough for like the whole server. If you don't have all four people, then the game will insert some NPCs for you to play with. They are very easy to win against. Don't worry about not having people to play with. This game is loosely based on the beloved Mahjong. You got your tiles and you match them. That's the gist of it. There are five cards in the middle pot. The one right in front of you is your discard pile. The other three on the outer ring are the other player's discard piles. The middle is everyone's draw pile. When it's your turn, you will draw a tile from the draw pile. The camera then shifts down to the nine tiles in your hand. You can win Hot Pot two different ways. The first way is getting three sets of three identical ingredients. Doesn't matter what category they belong to, as long as that item is in a set of three. In a three potatoes, three fish, three lobsters, three whatever. Next, you can win by collecting three different ingredients in a category. Each category has three different ingredients in it. Let's look at the vegetables. There are potatoes, carrots, and corn. If you collect one of each of these, that counts as a complete set and will get you one step closer to a win. And you can win with any combination. You can have two sets of identical ingredients along with one set of three varieties, etc, etc. So like, you know, if I have three lobster claws, three fish, and like all the vegetables, you know, like it's pretty easy to win. There's a lot of options. Unless somebody gets there first, then it's not so easy to win. One tip I have for you is to make sure you're grabbing items from the other discard piles as you need them. It's better to grab a guaranteed item that you know you'll need rather than drawing a random card from the deck. Obviously, if there's nothing on the table that you really need, then go ahead and test your RNG luck with the draw pile. But uh, most of my wins come from other people's discards. You can also look at other players' discard piles by pressing Q. This will show you the cards in said discard pile. You can also get a good sense as to what other people are throwing out this way. I had one game where everyone was just throwing out meat, so I started collecting all the meat. <laughs> you can get a set pretty quickly that way. At the end of the game, you will score more points if you can get three sets of identical ingredients rather than just the category varieties. You'll score 60 points for each category variety set and 120 points for each set of three identical ingredients. The game then tallies up everyone's points and hands them out to the table but you'll also get double your own points if you win. So you'll get the table's collective points, that includes your own, and then whatever you scored, you'll get that again as a bonus. So for example, if you're winning hand and netted 180 points for the table, you'll get an extra 180 points for just you, but that only happens if you win. If you lose, you just get the table's pool of points. These points translate directly to tickets that can be used to purchase items around Maji Market. It is in your best interest to play Hot Pot. My favorite way to play, which usually isn't the smartest because somebody will probably win before this works for you, but my favorite way to play is to get all the types of ingredients in one category as my three identical sets. So I'll, I'll go for all the carrots, all the potatoes, all the corn. Sometimes it's easier just to be like, oh, I need yellow. And anytime a yellow comes up, I grab it. However, this takes forever and somebody will probably win before you. I've had the crappy NPCs win before me and they're not good at this game. But the best thing to do is score those three identical sets because you will get more points that way since you'll be scoring 120 points per set instead of just 60. As a reward for playing the mini game, you'll be gifted a hot pot takeout food item. When eaten, these will grant you 500 focus. You can also get star quality versions of each of the hot pots. I believe, I believe you have to wait until you've played enough to get each hot pot option. There's four of them. But once you do, the star quality versions will start appearing in your pockets. The star qualities can be placed at your house too, which is kind of cool. Gives you like another little extra celebratory, oh my god, it's Luna Maji Market New Year hot pot thing. But if you want to eat them, the star quality ones will net you 750 focus, while the non-star quality get you 500. I literally can't stop playing Hot Pot. This has been one of my favorite videos ever because all I did was just play Hot Pot. This game is only available when the Maji Market is open, which is from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. Paleo time. The second that clock hits 6, I'm at Hot Pot, playing my heart out. I, I can't stop. It's a 
problem. Anyway, that's how you win at Hot Pot. It's literally all RNG with a little bit of like, oh, what are my opponents discarding awareness? It's really easy to pick up, so send this video to a couple friends so you can play with them. How are you liking this Maji Market? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!